Hi guys, Ian here. In this video, I demonstrate how to create and populate a geo package. And this video is a shorter clip from a, a longer video that I created where I uh, extracted contours and exported them to a DXF. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create a, a sort of a study area polygon, which is the full extent of this grid. And then I also want to put in the longitude and latitudinal lines and uh, the last thing I will then do is once I have that I'll go and extract the um, the DEM and then then create the contours from a S SRTM that I'm going to download. So let's create the other layers and I'm going to create in this example I want to create a um, I'm going to create a geo package so let's create that geo package. Okay so let's do that in browser so I'm going to add uh, a new directory to my favorites in the browser, and it is Ezelweeny. There it is there. I'll just rename this so it is a little easier to read. Ez oops, supposed to delete that. There we go. So now I've got our Ezelweeny folder. Now that's just a direct um, a directory pointing us to the, the folder that we created on that desktop. So this is where all our data will be. And I'm going to create a new geo package in the spatial folder. So I'm just going to right click on spatial folder and then I'm going to go to, to new and choose geo package. And this geo package is going to be called Ezelweeny. Whoa. Okay, let me turn off my caps lock. And the new table, so the first table will be grid lines. Grid lines, and it is a line. And we can give it a, a column and just call it 20. And then just make sure that it's got the same projection as the project. And then say OK. OK, so what, that, what we've now done is we've created this geo package. And so we can create new layers in that geo package and also save existing vector layers to that package. So I'm going to go in and get my coordinates and I'm going to export them to that geo package. So now I want to go and select geo package, choose the file name, Ezelweeny. Okay, there it is. Then the layer name is, these are my coordinates. Okay, there's my coordinates. And it's got the same projection as the project, etc. And so we can say OK. Now, if we go back to our browser and then refresh this window, we should now have two two layers in the geo package. And if we just right click and have a look at the layer properties, we can see what it looks like. And that is it. And it's got. Oops. Oh, why is it not seeing that? Maybe I need to wait longer. Let's just try that again. So I'm going to go layer properties, preview attributes. Okay, so it's got the the columns that are created in that Excel spreadsheet. Except this is no longer the linking to the CSV. This is linking to the coordinates layer or the codes layer in my geo package. Okay. So what we can maybe just quickly do is uh, we can delete this one and then just recolor that one. So what I'll do is I'll just go to styles. I'm going to copy the symbology and just dump it onto the new layer and then we can delete this one okay good next step uh, I want to create those latitudinal lines and then also to create a, a polygon that goes around the outskirts so let's create a polygon layer so let's create a new geo package layer we're going to select the database and it's Isolini and this one we're going to call study area study area it's a polygon and we will give it a a new field just one new field and also make sure that we've got the right projection and then say ok and then add so, so now this is asking us do we want to overwrite and create a whole new geo package and if we collect uh, select the overwrite it would have a bit of conflicting issues here so we just want to make sure we're adding a new layer to an existing geo package so select add new layer and there we go so there's our new layer I'm just going to quickly style this and do it something 
like that. Uh, let's maybe make this outline black. And then possibly make it transparent. So we're gonna make it fifty percent opacity so we just so we can see through it. Now yellow is not a great colour because um yellow is the same as a selection colour, but uh, it's not important at this stage. So let le let's leave it as yellow. Okay, but there's nothing there obviously because we haven't captured anything. So then we're gonna start editing. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set some snapping options so that we can snap to our our existing grid. So I'm going to say advanced con configuration. Oh, hello. Okay, yes, there we go. I was clicking the wrong button there. So I want to click on the little eyeball that it allows me to edit the advanced configuration and then set the, the ESL Winnie coordinates as the layer to snap to. Okay, there we go. We can close that down. So now we can add a new feature. So we'll just add a full extent, and this is going to be called our study area. And then right click to finish, and we'll just give it that same name. Okay, now there we go. I'll just drag it underneath and just save it. And we can do the same thing for uh, some longitudinal, longitudinal and latitudinal lines. So we'll do that same thing again. So we're going to create a new layer. It is going to be saved inside the geo package. It is going to be, l okay, we're going to name it. What are we going to call this? Let's just call this lines or grid lines. Grid lines, it is lines or line. Same coordinate reference system as the project. We'll also give it a name. I might not actually name anything in here, but uh, just having this field might be useful at a later stage. I'm going to say, okay. And once again, adding to a new layer, we're not overwriting an existing one. A table, oh, okay, so I've already got those lines. Did I create those already? Yes, I did, when I first created the geo package. Okay, so that was silly. So I'm just gonna say no and cancel, and then just go and add that, that layer from the geo package. So that's probably a good thing. So, so I can show you that you can overwrite layers that are already inside your geo package, but what we did is when we first initially created the geo package in the browser, it gave us the option to to create a new layer called grid lines, and that's what we did, or any any layer really inside the geo package. So now we're going to add this to our project. So you can select it, and uh, should be able to drag it across. But I'm going to use the data source manager, go to geo package, and I'm going to create a new connection. So I go new, I go and find the uh, geo package that we're using and use that one and then connect to it and that that is not right so I want to remove that yes uh, remove yes I want a new connection right I want to connect to this geo package open and then connect there we go so it was connecting to one that I created previously but we want to make sure we connect to the right one. So just make sure that your your path name is the correct one and you're pointing to the right geo package. And grid lines is the layer we want to add. So we can select that and click add and then close. Obviously nothing shown yet because it's a brand new layer. We haven't actually captured anything. So we'll just start capturing this layer. But before I do that, I'm just gonna change this color to black. There we go. Okay, and we don't actually need to have our open topo map open in the background. It's just kind of uh, confusing us a little bit. So now we're going to create those new lines. We can also actually turn off our study area map and let's create those new lines. So we're going to toggle editing. Now we've already set the snap settings, so we just need to create new lines. Okay, so that is our first line. Right click to finish. Name, we're not going to worry with names. And every time you get close enough to, to a point, you'll see the little pink box will pop up to indicate that you have snapped to that closest point. And then we'll do the longitudinal lines as well. This was 15, this was 16,000 meters. 
etc. Right, so we can save that. There we go. Okay, so now what we have is a little project with a grid and a study area that we're going to use to clip our uh, 30 meter SRTM from the data that we are going to download next. So that is the next step. But before I do that, I just want to save this project. So I'm going to click on save, go and find my project folder, and we'll just call this, uh, we'll also call it as a wing. A link to the full length tutorial will be in the video description.